What is up my stud muffins? Welcome back to another video with me reviewing fun vegan food. I'm glad you joined us. Today we are reviewing peanut butter cups from the brand Hail Mary. You voted on Instagram. I put up a poll between Louisville vegan jerky and peanut butter cups and y'all wanted to see some peanut butter cups. So that is what we are doing today. So buckle in bubs. All right, this brand, Hail Mary, I'm gonna take these off. <laughs> this brand comes to you from Dallas, Texas. It is created by a woman named Susan O'Brien who was inspired while taking a raw cooking class in Maui. She learned all about medium chain triglycerides, which are basically rapid absorbing fats that burn as fuel rather than store. So she was really mind blown by this idea that fats can be healthy for you and can help burn quicker, like they're used as fuel. Medium chain triglycerides are really utilized in the ketogenic diet, if you've heard of that before, which I'm sure you have. But basically, ketogenesis is when your body burns ketones, which are fat cells, so it's using fat as fuel rather than carbs as fuel. <sighs> So when it comes to the ketogenic diet, you need higher fats rather than higher carbs because your main source of fuel is fat. However, if you have a medium chain triglyceride, your body absorbs it quicker. So regardless of whether you're in ketosis or not, medium chain triglycerides are better fats for you, like coconut oil. It's just your body responds better to it versus like a saturated fat like butter which is not a medium chain triglyceride. If you wanna read some more about medium chain triglycerides, I'm gonna link a couple articles down below that I found very helpful in educating me. I don't wanna drone on about them here today. There is plenty of other information on the internet specifically about medium chain triglycerides, but that's not why we are here today. However, they did inspire the creation of these treats, so I wanted to mention that. These are all paleo friendly, which means they are gluten-free, corn-free, soy-free. They're also vegan friendly, meaning there are no dairy products, there's no milk, no egg, no animal product, no nothing. So I am thrilled about that. They are non-GMO certified as well if that matters to you. I got them here in New York City at my local Whole Foods over on the Upper West Side. I'm not on the Upper West Side, I just traveled down there, you know what I mean. They were $2.69 each, so if you break that sh down, and there are two peanut butter cups per thing, then they are $1.35 per cup little pricey. However, these are really simple ingredients. They seem really cute. I love the packaging. I love that it's kind of tattoo themed. I think that's a really cool concept. I only have three of the eight flavors of the cups. They have a whole bunch of other stuff too. Cookie dough bites, tarts, and bars. So they have a whole bunch of stuff, including the cups, but I'm missing five of these, which I only thought I was missing two, but I'm missing five. The ones that I'm missing that I really, really wish I had to try today are the mint chocolate, the key lime, and the sweet potato. So I'm sad I didn't have those. These were the only three. They were in the refrigerated section at Whole Foods and I snatched them up. This is video is not sponsored. They did not send any of this to me. I bought this with my own coin cash dollar. So without further adieu, let us get into the tasting. Let's first start with chocolate almond butter. Let's see, so serving size for these are one package. So for there are two peanut butter cups in here. So basically if you eat one, you just have to slash the macronutrients in half and you get your macros per one cup. So the total fat in these are 19 grams. Carbohydrate is 18, you get five dietary fiber, incredible, and six grams of protein. The ingredients for the chocolate almond butter are organic maple syrup, almond butter, almond flour, dark cocoa, organic virgin coconut oil, and sea salt. Simple. Ooh, these are some deep cups. Oh, wow. So they come in this. Oh, wow. So it's got like an almond cookie crust around it. It's kind of melting in my hands a little bit. So I'm gonna take a part of this. Mmm, mmm, that is some dark chocolate. You can also see that layer of almond butter. 
Look at that, yummy. Now we're going in with our dark chocolate espresso. Right here you get 13 grams of fat per two cups. 21 carbohydrate, four grams of protein. Pretty cool. Ingredients are organic maple syrup, almond flour, dark cocoa, organic virgin coconut oil, organic coffee, ooh, and sea salt. So it looks the same in this like kind of plasticky packaging, which I find interesting. It has like a little recycle. I wanna say this is, this is recycled plastic. That's what it looks like. At least I hope so. Melting in my hands again. I could eat this every day. Every day. What are the macros on this? I can't even. So this one cup, if I do the math and I divide it down, is 6.5 fat, 10.5 carb, and two protein. You kidding me? If you like espresso, which I love, is I have my coffee right here, it's right out of frame. But if you love espresso or coffee or lattes or anything with that dark, rich espresso flavor, mm, and you also like dark chocolate, which me, I was that little girl when I was little, I wanted dark chocolate cake with dark chocolate filling, with dark chocolate ice cream, with chocolate on the side, with chocolate ice cream and chocolate sprinkles. Like that was me. So this is everything I want. Holy sh Now we're going in with our last but not least, the Meyer lemon. Ooh, this has a lot of ingredients. Wow. So that's a huge difference, you'll, you'll see. It's a huge difference, probably because it's such a, a lemony cup. But you get 16 grams of fat, 17 carbs, four dietary fiber, and three protein. The ingredients are as listed. Organic shredded coconut, organic blue agave, organic virgin coconut oil, organic coconut sugar, cashews, almond flour, organic coconut flour, lemon juice, Meyer lemon concentrate, which is filtered water, lemon juice concentrate, natural lemon flavor. And then we have lemon juice powder, filtered water, orange juice, sea salt. Orange juice, hey. So simple ingredients, there's just a lot of it. There's a lot of like intricacies in here. Oh, this is cute. It looks like a little baby pie. So cute. Do you see how it's like squishing? Cute. <laughs> My mouth is watering. This is so, I thought, this is so good. The crust is like just barely enough. There's like a little bit of like grainy texture to it. The filling in the center is just tart enough, just sweet enough. Most of my life, I hadn't been a fan of lemon flavored desserts. My dad, I feel like he gets a lot of mentions in this, but so his choice of birthday cake was always lemon cake with lemon frosting. It was always just like the sad day for me. Like, yeah, it's my dad's birthday, but I can't, I don't want any of his cake. Cause I just didn't like lemony flavored things. The first thing I thought of when I bit into this was like, my dad would flippin' love this. It's like a little cute lemon tart or like pie. And my mouth is still watering. Like, like what witchcraft is that? You know, like if you make my mouth continue to water, but the F, you know? Ooh, and the crust has just enough salt in it that it cuts through the lemon. I'm still, my mouth is still watering. That that makes me even more excited to try their other flavors because this was the one that I was like, mm, like these ones are safe, this one is not. And if they have mint chocolate, sweet potato, and key lime, they're key lime. I can't even imagine. I can imagine, but like, overall. This one's delicious, the chocolate almond butter, it's exactly what you expect. But the dark chocolate espresso and the lemon, they're on a whole entire other level. I think this is absolutely worth the money, absolutely worth it. Decadent, you, it's not a slam in the caloric intake, it's really not. The ingredients are simple and you can pronounce everything on the label, which I love. There isn't even stevia in this, like, good flippin' 
job Hail Mary and slash Susan O'Brien. I'm a shout out from the rooftops, shout from the rooftops, Hail Mary. All right, well, I might be getting online right after this video and be ordering some other stuff. Like, I'm interested in their cookie dough bites, their tarts, and their bars. Like, give me all of it. But, like, also, don't give me all of it because I'm going to eat it all. This is a straight up hit out the ballpark. Just like, whew. I give the, at least these three, maybe they have like a surprise terrible thing in their other ones, but the texture is incredible. The, t the flavor, incredible. The ingredients, incredible. The macronutrient breakdown, incredible. Like packaging, great. The only thing I would say is that it falls apart kind of easily. That's about it, because it's like, oh, I'm real food. I'm not held together by chemicals. I really hope you pick these up. Please do, please tag me. Hashtag snacks with cat. Tell me what you think. Show me, if you hate them, let me know. If you love them, let me know. I wanna see, I wanna, I want you to try these with me. Like I, I hope that my recommendations do you proud. So these are definitely going into my rotation. If I see them at Whole Foods, yo, it's gonna be that constant battle of like, no Catherine, don't get them. 10 out of 10, like hands down across the board sold forever for life <laughs> thank you so much for watching give this video a thumbs up if you liked it a thumbs up if you didn't don't forget to subscribe down below and then hit that little ring-a-ding bell right there so you don't miss another video with me however i do post every thursday at 10 a.m eastern time in the united states i hope to see you next week for another video with me okay bye don't don't look don't look at me. Don't watch me do this. I'm sorry. I had to do it. I'm getting goosebumps. I don't believe I can fly. I don't believe I can fly. <laughs> I'm a leaf control. Mm -hmm. Okay, please. Okay, bye.